let's talk about alternatives to non-stick pans. Welcome back to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show where we make plant-based cooking easy. Today we are talking about finding alternatives to non-stick pans. So what I have here is a carbon steel pan. So essentially carbon steel, these types of pans are kind of a mashup between cast iron and stainless steel. But what I love about this is that you can make these virtually non-stick, which was a revelation to me because I've been really frustrated about the whole non-stick pan thing. There's certain recipes that I love to make, you like pancakes and my lentil flatbread, but you really need to have some kind of non-stick surface for them to work. But I don't really want to use non-stick pans because of, you know, I'm making this incredibly healthy food but I want to cook on healthy cookware. And if you've done any reading or heard anything on the news or you know anything about nonstick, they're not safe. They release PFOAs and all kinds of other chemicals that who knows what their name is. They just pop around from one to the next. And the only other alternative that I know of are the ceramic cookware, which is a better alternative. I've just found that the ceramic cookware uh, that I've had the coating doesn't last very long, and then you end up tossing that pan out. They're expensive to begin with, and what a waste. You don't want to keep having to replace your pans. This guy, indestructible, will last forever if you take good care of it. So caring for this kind of pan is pretty much the same as what you would for a cast iron pan. Um, you can get these that are just the carbon steel already. This one happened to be already pre-seasoned. Uh, even though I still feel like I wanted to season it before I used it, just to make sure. So once you get this in the mail, uh, it still has a coating on it from the manufacturer that's usually kind of sticky and oily, so you want to give it a really, really good wash first, and then move on to seasoning your pan. So I'm just going to give you a really basic uh, how I season my pans. You can look it up online too if you want to get even further in depth, but how I do it, I bring my pan up to heat, or I just warm it up just a little bit, because that opens up the pores in the metal. And then I use, you want to use, uh, there's particular oils that have a higher flash point, which means the smoking uh, doesn't occur until it gets up to a higher temperature. So you can't just use any old oil. Uh, Grapeseed is a good one, and flaxseed, this one is actually for seasoning pans. So what you do, as you put just a little bit of oil on some kind of cloth or even a paper towel. I like to use the cloth because yet again, I don't wanna to have to throw that away. So any cloth that you don't care if it gets damaged. You put a little bit of that oil on there and put it straight on your warm pan. Be careful, you know, not a super, super hot pan, just warm. And you wanna just, maybe you just use, it's less than a teaspoon for the entire pan. So you put that on the cloth rub it all over onto that pan, rub it in really good, and then wipe off any excess oil. You don't want to see any kind of sheen to the oil. And then you bring the temperature up to high, or you know, medium high, and you want to leave it on there for about five minutes. But you want to make sure that you turn your vent on, or at least have some windows open or something, because it's going to smoke. Okay, so this is the pan that I got. I'll give you a link in the details below. Uh, this one cost me about $40, and yes, it was pre-seasoned. Uh, if you get a pan that of carbon steel that's not pre-seasoned, you do the same thing, but you're probably gonna wanna do that three or four times before you use it, because you really want to make sure that oil, what you're doing is polymerizing that oil, which is gonna create a really hard surface. So all of that oil is getting right into the pores of the metal, and it's sealing it. Okay, so then to wash these, you treat it just like your cast irons. You don't really wanna wash it with soap, you can just wash it with hot water, uh, and then dry it off really well, because it's just like cast iron, and if there's any moisture on it, it will rust. You don't want it to rust. So that is all about these carbon steel pans. I really have high hopes for this guy. So I'm gonna show you, this is my lentil flatbread recipe. I've already soaked the beans. We'll give you a link in the details below to that particular recipe. Super simple, two ingredients. It's just red lentils and water. 
It could not be simpler. So I'm just going to fry one here. Make sure I got my temperature right. My pan is plenty hot. I'm just going to go in. And my hopes with this pan, I haven't tried them yet, but I really, this is a crepe pan. So I really want to try making crepes. So these lentil flatbreads, it's just like pancakes. You know, you want to get it, or have a, start out with a really hot pan, pour your batter on, and you wait for the little, you see the little air pockets opening up. And once they start popping and, and stay open, and you can tell around the edge that it's time to flip. So we're just gonna wait for that to, to be able to flip this guy. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of free printable recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy cookbook series are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting membership community. Our supporting members gain access to great member perks like our monthly product giveaways, ebooks, and in-depth courses, including our 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. So if you love our recipes, I invite you to join us on our mission to make plant-based cooking easy and follow the link in the description to become a supporting member today. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, it's ready to flip because you see that the bubbles are all uh, open and staying open and you can kind of tell around the edge it looks a bit more dry. Here we go. I mean, look at that. It wasn't sticking anywhere. I am in love with this pan. I can't wait to make more things on this and I'm so excited that this is a safe cookware and I'm gonna be able to keep this pan forever and maybe hand it on down through my family, so. Hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Come on back next week for another brand new recipe.